was uh, I was in hospital and not this top the one inside of it so it's that one it was going a very peculiar colour and stunk and I said to the doctor what the fuck is wrong with that and they told me this and that they might be able to save it and I went, when, when they went this guy went yo mate we got to talking and uh, he goes you got oste- did they say osteomyelitis I said yeah he goes I got it in my big toe two days later my leg was off anyway I got that I got that, um, that consultant back I said, cut that fucking thing off. Well, I said, I'll cut my, I'll cut that off with bolt cutters. He went, if I had a pound for every homeless druggie like you. And if you take it off now, you can save my leg. He went. I'll be the judge of that. I said, I'll tell you what then, let's do it this way or way. I said, you do it. I said, I'll give you, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. You discharge me onto the streets with that fucking toe risking my leg and I'm on the streets. I'm going to have no leg. It means more to have a leg and it's better to have a house if you have no leg, you know. But yeah, the next day was Saturday. So I went in, well, of course. I went to the ball cutters and they've got a plastic cover over the top to stop you opening and closing them and hurting yourself if you're having a look at them. So I ripped the plastic bits off so that you instantly open them because there was a little clip clipping the jaws together thing. So I cut, cut the thing and put it to the back. So the next day was Sunday and it does not till 10. So I'm sat across the road psyching myself up. Now they opened the shutters and I shot in like lightning upstairs and the security guards were straight after me. I pulled out the bolt croppers already that had already had the plastic taken off. I had a diabetic slipper on. I just kicked it off, counted to three, put the jaws against my toes so I had to force it down to cut into my flesh as it when I felt terra firma I couldn't do it anymore. I just went and he made a, a, like a strange satisfying crack. I just walked over and I went, they're not sewing that back on. I up and swallowed it. And next thing I know, I'm in the nut house. And I went, when I'd been in the nut house, they, uh, they said they've got a flat for me. It's strange, you eat your own toe and you get a flat. <laughs> but uh, I did it and you know what? The same fucking consultant guy who, who said that to me had to sew up my toe and do the job I remember seeing him and saying hello doctor and his face was fucking thunder I ended up doing what I wanted to do when I was a child I wanted to be an art teacher but my evil bastard dad got me on heroin and methadone and he got so I'd start working for his building business which I was good at but it wasn't an artist which is what I wanted to be it, it's a, a case there's not enough funding for all the people on the street have you noticed how many people on the streets as somebody if people haven't there's something wrong with their head because every 50 yards less there is somebody with their arm out so as you can see by the painting I'm holding and the other ones around I've come to a level where I can sell paintings for decent amounts of money I do it for free I just want to engage with people I don't give a fuck about money because when I've had money it not made me happy you know but this but saying that now things will be different I'm clean and sober now and I've never been clean and sober on the outside <laughs>